God damn it. Bubbles isn't here. <laughs> Charles rolls his eyes and starts walking away. <laughs> like, if I was going to name it in accordance to my people, I think the name would be Nail Polish. Well, yeah, but that's the thing. It's not, it's not Mariah Orsman. It's a drone. That it should be named by another drone. It's only for life. I suppose. <laughs> the other option is, of course, to get Traxagord to name it. But I also we, would respect that. Based on what we've seen, its name should be Greeting Polish. That's fair. Mm, actually, based on based on how you guys know, probably actually like either dust or cleanliness and polish. So it would be it would be dust polish. polish. That sounds terrible. Christine polish. What? That is such a Christine because it would smell like like something that's been cleaned pristinely. So does it use Christine polish? Does so it cleans tables and things like that, right? Yeah. And does it have like a water-based system, like it uses like spray bottles to clean dirt off tables, things like that, or just like brute force? Uh, no, it mm-hmm. seems to just like scrape shit. I think the steam polish would be what you would be I was hoping you would say it had a spray bottle, <laughs> then we could call it Mister and. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be good. If you give it it's a Mister, it'll use that one. one. But instead, mm-hmm. somebody gave it nail polish. Yeah. <laughs> Charles comes back in and says, "Bubbles refuses to name it." Jaxico exactly. says, I suspect that it would be fine if they had a link. Bubbles too. <laughs> I I pick up the drone and and offer it to Charles, looking at him beseechingly, go do that link thing. Going <laughs> <laughs> forward, this is probably against the rules in some capacity, but I'm adorable, so surely he will agree. He rolls his eyes, brings up a, um, a, an app, Opens up the app, starts fucking with its code so that it'll do what it, he needs it to be able to do. Exits out of the app, links it back up to the device, and then opens up a remote control system. And then starts driving the drone very clumsily around because he wrote the app a second ago. And then takes it off to talk to Bubbles. Oh, that's so good. I'm Hopefully he'll uh, take that out of his paycheck. So, I don't think that uh, he's probably ready for another coffee, but I am going to retrieve, like, whatever snack that I know he likes from... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? A fistful of soybeans? There's a side salad yeah. in there. There's The food that's produced here is produced at a hydroponic center. Yeah. I'm certainly going to eat so that edamame. Yeah. I mean, technically speaking, it's the most chemically pure food you've probably eaten in a long time. Yeah. Quite likely. Yeah. yeah. It's I... probably at least 20% real. <laughs> <laughs> I get the best flavored chocolate flavored, or the, the best chocolate flavored soy bar. <laughs> the best chocolate flavored <laughs> soy bar. <laughs> they, don't, they don't process the soy. That doesn't, well, they don't process the soy here, but that doesn't mean they don't have, like, a little, like, kitchenette that does. Um, I think they, in fact, have something like that up here. Exactly. Yeah. That's on the third floor. Yeah, like, which, yeah, okay. um, Column Script knows. Because Column Script has been familiarizing themselves with the layout for yeah. orientation purposes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, I was, uh, reviewing the laws and shit. Yeah. Uh, Mostly I, to know exactly how, what what I can use to decorate my door. Um, when law, when Traxagor was going on about the laws being sort of up in the air, he was not fucking around. <laughs> reconstruction I'm is law reconstruction. One, I'm assuming law one is don't uh, don't repurpose school drones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming school, rule one is shut the fuck up. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Charles returns with pebbles here. <laughs> ah yes, like bubbles, it insists on being translated. Mm, interesting. I wonder if it would have come out differently if it had been programmed by somebody who wasn't a human. It seems to have done it in your language. I think pebbles is a stupid name for a drone. He says as he wanders over to the fridge. He looks disappointed at it, and then you hand him food. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful name for a drone. I, I give him the best food that I think he would like most from the fridge. Admittedly, I've only known him for a few days. <laughs> I offer Pebbles my other hand, and I point at the pink this time. You hand him <laughs> ranch dressing and some toast. And he goes, nice. perfect. And he spreads the ranch dressing on the toast. Interesting. And I, I start jotting notes that he didn't dip it. Well, it's in a squeeze bottle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, what are these box things? That's Those are the fridges. That's the refrigerator. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so these this are the ranch, is that are the okay. Yeah, these is are this, the display system. Is this ranch a human delicacy? Uh, I think it's mostly yeah, just, it's... like, fat, he says. Yeah. It's fat and seasoning. Can I analyze it? Sure. As he's just trying to eat his toast. Actually, he's sort of curious to see what your chemical a um, analyzer has to say about ranch dressing. So would that be <laughs> system, or is that a roll, or just go? No, this, the, the machine just works. It's, it's like 80% nice. animal fat. You go through it for a while because you're like, 80% animal fat? That sauce is meat? That's bizarre. But it turns out that <laughs> it's actually, it's one of those mammalian things where they lactate, and this is made out of extremely high fat lactose, which, gee, hosafat. Like, why? <laughs> the process behind making this dressing must be incredible. <laughs> At some point, they take an animal, they squeeze milk out of the animal, and then they do things to it until it is almost entirely fat and oh. seasonings. No, 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 not only do they, not only do they squeeze the milk out of it, but then they process the milk so that they get mostly just fat. No, that's what I mean. Out. They take it. They process it until the milk is now cream. Then they process it until the cream is then butter. And then they take the butter and they mix it back with some of the milk again in order to create this viscous substance. And then they add vegetable oil to it. It yeah. is unbelievably fatty. Yeah. So you milk you milk your butter twice and then <laughs> put vegetables in it. Yeah. <laughs> he shrugs. Oh, I'm... I... I... And I just pull out my tablet, just start writing notes. That's the sauce. I, uh, that's that so, they put it on other things. That's not even done yet. That's an ingredient. You guys so eat I, mushrooms. I hand curiosity passion a mushroom I got from the fridge. And I take the ranch <laughs> and put a little on my mushroom and try it. Ooh. Um Blasphemy. It is explosive in its variousness of that flavor. Fair. Yeah. Basically, it's like you just stuffed your face with, well, animal fat and herbs. Because that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. If I bring this ranch back to the high, if the queen will forgive me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like pizza. Well done, Matt. Matt is correct. Yeah, yeah. Well, my reaction to eating it was, you know, a uh, shrug and a, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that, that's cool. I have the luxury of just finished eating, so I don't have that problem. Mind you, when this nicotine wears out, I'm probably going to face plant on the desk. But that's that. Okay, what do we do? <laughs> um, I asked Traxagor if there's any any basic and menial tasks that he needs me to do. Though I do not phrase it in that style, I asked him if there's any, anything I can do. To he pats there. you on the head and says, okay. I think that we have most of the rest of the day to ourselves. There's nothing particularly pressing until tomorrow, but we should probably get to know the place. Well, you should. Cool. So, we're here on job assignments, right? You will be, yes. His implication is that you don't do technically you, start until tomorrow. Do I Have I located where the lab would be that I'd be working in, or the place I'd be working? Uh, the place is extremely decentralized. There's a lab on almost every floor. Okay, so it's just if you have work, you go to where the work is. Um, theoretically, you should be able to do a reasonable amount of work from anywhere. Okay. The place was originally designed with the understanding that they would need to specialize in particular areas. But Thran and Mirai Technology have 86 to most of that. And so now they can do things much more efficiently on the mother node from anywhere. Okay. So it looks like my lab doesn't, doesn't matter where my lab is. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh... I look at you, though, and go, do you want to go on a slow walk with me around? I, I yes. need to figure out where the utility utility boxes where, are. Where your door is? Taking vibes. I do. Yes, I, we also need to figure out where my door is. Charles Our looks door. down oh. at his empty cup and says, where are the bathrooms? I point through the doorway at the lava pit. <laughs> 
He curls in horror and Traxagor snickers. <laughs> because Traxagor knows what would happen if you did that. <laughs> I do too, and it is horrible. 98% chance to singe anything you put close to it. Yeah, the steam would be amazing. Um, um, the bathrooms are on I deck three. You know, right from the I, would, schematics. I would presume bathrooms would be on either end of the cafeteria. That would make logical sense. Me, anyway. Um, the, the bathrooms are on the third deck, which is where the habitat is. In fact, um, according to your schematics, Jesse, um, this room mm-hmm. up here is um, entirely given over to the cabinet's quarters. Wow. It's cabin's like 15 meters long. Of this station. It's the size of this thing. <laughs> it would be the executive like the cap- officer. Would that be our captain right now? Well, a captain would be a strange thing to have at a research facility, but whatever the executive officer's equivalent is, that's their room. And it's the size of this whole forge. Wild. Which is human hierarchy is type stuff. Is it no. Okay. Well, it will be. <laughs> Traxagor is only visiting. <laughs> mm, I think we should find our, our locations. Um, I would certainly like to wander around, but I also would like to know what, what skill is used to make a controller that would allow me to help pebbles wander around like, like, in, like a RC. Um, you probably couldn't under the circumstances. I mean, it would take time to write the program, but if you have a slate and even though the slate is slightly different technology than Charles is, Charles should be able to put the app on your slate. Then you should be able to do it. You have to be linked though. Yeah. You'd have to borrow his cable. You might be able to get Thoughtful Sandwich to make you a cable. That would help talking to him. (laughs) Yeah, I think um, I, I think they must get used to us more. Yes, I will Perhaps. table it for now then, and I shall I shall pet Pebbles thoroughly before moving on to wander down this way because there's a door. Enduring, there's a captain's quarters above this place. Mm, you find a cryo sleep chamber. It's cool. there are sixteen cryo sleep caskets in this hallway. I I look to see who's in them. They are if all you can empty. See the wild. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. So is that the dorms? <laughs> no. No, oh. that's not the dorms. The dorms are on deck They're three. the cold dorms. Oh, I suppose that's a dorm after a fashion. Yeah. We can't get to the captain quarters from here. Or is the door above? <laughs> the door's on the other uh, side. Well, it looks here. like there's doors over here. Yeah. 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 I was talking about I, that door there. Yeah. We shall wander around. Yeah, I want to start poking at, at panels and trying to open doors and trying to connect to things and smelling I will open various doors and stick my head in, calling you who overtly intrusive yet friendly. You find um, the elevator and um, one of the many storage areas in this place. This one seems to be given over to chemicals stored in barrels that look positively ancient. Wild. Well, this was a this was a pre war facility, right? Yeah, you recognize these barrels um, from reading that um, Charles. Uh, actually gave you quite some time ago about during the blockades um, the humans had trouble getting their hands on a great many things one of the things that they worked with to try to deal with not being able to get lithium to any of their sites was they sort of made retro style chemical batteries that were similar to chemical batteries they had used in ancient times and these are the sorts of chemicals that those would uh, be used to make sulfuric acids and such so you could make one of those primitive dynamos here if you had all the uh, physical materials. I don't think it's nuclear. <laughs> Miriam, it's not nuclear. <laughs> but it's funny. And it will help us keep track of what's in this room. <laughs> <laughs> nuclear under erasure waste. <laughs> Very Derrida. Battery waste. <laughs> Except it's not waste. <laughs> you should cross out the waste and put stuff. I don't know. Chemicals, chems. Chems is a very sci fi word. All right. So, uh, curiosity question. Um, no, curiosity, passion. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, what are the. I saw two doors in the other uh, hallway. You said one's the captain's quarters. What's the other one? Well, by process of elimination, the other one has to be lab. Lab one. 
We can look at the labs later. I suppose. I, I press the elevator. I <laughs> press the elevator door. <laughs> I press the elevator button five more times than is strictly necessary. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> uh, we can. We'll come back and look at it at our leisure. It, it's better yeah. if we have time to look at it. I yeah, look at I you during during, apprentice, or during appreciation, and I set a giant timer on my slate. <laughs> and point my, my newly painted finger directly in your face and say, The best is best, saves for last. Hmm. And then walk I backwards can... into the elevator. Where the hell did Miriam go? <laughs> what do you mean, where did I go? I'm in the elevator. Can you not hear her? I Hello? pasted your characters and she did not come. Her character token oh, was well, like, Yeah, fuck off, Levy. Well, mm. <laughs> maybe it's because oh, I'm God. inside. Did here. you type an elevator? Label? No. <laughs> yep. I, I took did. the elevator label oh. instead of the character token. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Move the elevator to the top of the elevator. I already did. I've got three elevator <laughs> tokens in here now. <laughs> what? No, I'm tro- No, the word elevator. Put it in the top corner. Yes. Oh, I see. I I did. Just not on a page you are currently viewing. Yeah, that that's always the darndest thing when. when well, it takes a while. I'm the to DM is like, so this here, right here, is you know a river, and they're like, what are you talking about? We're literally looking at the map of Nostria. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, you just go over and you're like, okay, hey, great, let's do this. All right, so there's a door. Yep. We should against probably the, open this door just to see what's in it. Against the walls over here, there are a bunch of um, metal bars on the floor, which are meant to hold pallets or crates so that you can strap them in. And they're all the way along all of the walls. So did this used to be a shipping container then? It was a storage facility. Most of this place was given over to um, storage. <laughs> this place is filled with tangerines, soybeans, apples, more soybeans, carrots, soybeans, potatoes, and soybeans. There's also is this storage, or is this where soybeans. they're being grown? No, this is definitely okay. Fantastic. And this and this is floor two. We're on. Yeah, this is deck two. They're still referred to as decks because the thing was supposed to be in space and is made out of modular starship pieces. I think I managed to get all the other things he said, other than beans. Yes, well done. Which it. It makes sense that they have uh, storage areas meant for shifting cargo, mm-hmm. even though it's a grounded yeah. space station, because it wasn't grounded. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next person picks the next door we go in. Well, presumably that would be curiosity. I'm just along for the ride. Yeah, then we're going in here. Run. Those are tables. Is this a lab? These are screens. They're massive wraparound screens that are about seven and a half feet long. Two meters. Seven and a half feet is two meters exactly, isn't it? I guess they're exactly two meters. It's not how they look. Maybe it's because they're not centered. It's because of the convex shape. Anyway, so a person would sit on either side and would be sharing a screen so that they can work in tandem on whatever project they might have those screens yeah, devoted enough. to. And there's still enough room in the um, back to slide things in and out if necessary. Seven and a half feet is two and a quarter meters. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Is this a door? It looks like a door. Yeah. I make the note that seven and a half feet is 2.2 meters. <laughs> what is this place, Charles? It just kind of looks like a big office, he says as he sits down at the uh, at the console. Are these things CR7s? No, this is a CR9. Good grief. They have a twinling CR9 system. Look at this! He hits the power switch, and then this thing starts to hum. The screen immediately turns on, and he seems shocked by it. He's like, whoa, that's fast! (laughs) Is there, like, a nice landscape with a login page? No, it's just a black screen that's like, what are you doing here? Because he doesn't have his security credentials yet. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He can't log into it. Um, Charles, I say this out of kindness, but don't hack the computer systems that you're literally allowed to use. (laughs) I... I turn and look at at Curiosity, and then I turn and look back at Charles with, like, the most mischievous look on my face. Look at these export data units. Good lord. He starts rubbing a black box that's set on top of a black box that's indistinct from the other black boxes that make up this fucking screen. (laughs) (laughs) Feel how cool it is. How is it going so fast when it's so cold? Who set these up? (laughs) I appeasingly pet the box that he is touching. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He's like, it does oh feel cool. <laughs> this 
this looks suspiciously like those uh, um, human mating rituals I've seen before on campus. Maybe. Well, no, the, the, no the, sort, the sort that they do in public. Not the sort that they do in private. Obviously. What? Sharing each other's rituals. Show? <laughs> you, you know, humans mate, right? <laughs> You've left Pebbles behind. <laughs> In a boring way. We did leave Pebbles behind, which is very sad. Oh, well, uh, I, didn't, I thought Pebbles would rather be down, down in the cafeteria because that's where he's assigned. I'll happily take Pebbles with me. I, so I, I thought you, you were tethered to that. Pebbles by a cable that he borrowed from the... I what? I mean, I will do that. I didn't know if Charles let me borrow that, so I was just going to let Pebbles live their life. When you... Because they have the right to live their life how they want, wish, wish to. Um, yeah. if you, if you tell Charles, uh, that you want a cable, he just like opens up his jacket and his jacket. You, have you seen those walls of cables where they have cables set up on the walls? He's got yeah. that on the inside of his what jacket about it? and he just like, it looks like and a... grabs a fistful of cable because he knows which one is which just by glancing at it and grabs the cable he needs for the robot. As you I know. hope you know, I'm imagining a 1990s media drug dealer. Opening yeah, his jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man. Can I just you? You want to buy a cable? <laughs> oh man! I want, I want it to look. I want it to look as dramatically like a, a a fancy a fancy rich bitch walking her chihuahua. <laughs> chihuahua, chihuahua. This room is identical to the one that that you entered on deck one. The lobby. It is to the micrometer identical. Official. Except there's not a door right here. Well, that would be the airlock. Those have to be stamped in. <laughs> yeah. Just like so the... I suppose this door is next. Yeah, presumably. Uh, oh, no, 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 we should probably be knocking. Whoop, okay. I hit the door I open. I can knock, 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 knock. Well, this is a medical bay. And you know that from the schematics. When the, <laughs> when the door opens, there is a elderly human standing next to a bent-over, pale-skinned behemoth and a thren inside the room. When the door opens and you see the people on the inside, Charles looks in shock at um, the enormous pale figure and says, so it's true. They do have some in case of emergencies that are unaltered. Not unaltered, says the elderly man. The bent over humanoid stands all the way up to a height a little greater than eight feet with extremely perfect pitch black dark hair and huge orange eyes with preposterously wide irises this is gerald and i am dr albert mosley pleased to make your acquaintance we will not be shaking hands he walks away to give you room to enter the facility and then the friend says you haven't been cleaned yet not true the robot took her coat I assume you're like holding pebbles on a leash yeah. or whatever. Well, it yeah, is on a leash because it's yeah. it's on a she's driving it with an app on her on her slate. Yeah. So by default, I have medical experience it's just because that's within the wheelhouse of my best skill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or at least the knowledge of what medicine is, right? Yeah. The yeah. um whatever it is that they're doing in here, apparently they need the place to be sanitized. They have been sanitized, and you guys have it, which is why they're being. Yeah, that's why I'm. But they're That's not why I'm, I'm standing in the hallway and I'm not going in. Okay. Because I understand. I probably that also know that, or sanitary. you'll tell me not to. <laughs> Doctor uh, Lacram says it is a pleasure to meet all of you, though. Um, Miriam, you can't help but notice that she has deep pink nail polish on. Nice. <laughs> I I point at her with finger guns. The hand that has the pink finger nail polish on it. <laughs> Good grief! Aren't you cute? She says. <laughs> I, I believe you brought the wrong drone with us, by the way. I did do that. <laughs> they all look the same, on purpose. Well, I mean, yes, but wow. <laughs> One of them is a name tag, my pay. Come on. <laughs> yes, we need to uh, label Pebbles with an actual label. Pebbles has an actual label. Because it is Pebbles label on, is the special label on mine. No, no. No, I meant in-game. I, I mean, we need to, uh, like... Okay. Oh, yeah, because physically it does look the same. Well, well it's got a cable plugged into it that Miriam's driving around with, so there's that. Yeah. No, no, no. Get, get, do the thing that makes its picture big real quick. 
symbiotic memory. How do you get it? Shift Z. It doesn't work anymore. There we go. And buh, 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 buh. Acid drone. Ah, uh, now, now I'm buffering. Yeah, it, it just does that. Yeah. Just gonna refresh because that's an annoying little circle. But yeah. Yeah, I think that circle might just be there forever. <laughs> it doesn't go away on my screen. Oh, that sucks. That large humanoid, though, is interesting. What do you mean you thought they had one unaltered, Charles? Well, it stands to reason, doesn't it? The reason that they altered us is because we were too dangerous the way that they were, but we tend to make up most of their Marines, so... 1 plus 1 equals 2. They're the ones that altered us, right? Seems to me that they'd have a batch around for combat purposes. I've never seen an unaltered human. I assume that's what we looked like. I'm offended thought... on behalf of this because it sounds like he's talking about them like they are an object and not a thing. They're over here so, me uh, messing with shit on the table and talking to each other. So I you Google, like, are... average height of human in and I, I pick a day. Well, funny thing about like... that. Uh, you are confident that the Trinity means well, ultimately, but Charles has a certain point. Part of what happened during the war was that in order to get humans on their side, the Thren sided with humans who were rebelling against the power structure that was there. But power is power, and the winners wrote the history. So any information that you find about humans are going to be what the victor powers that built but the Trinity fight. decided it was going to be. So if they didn't want to little... say that they were eight foot tall monsters, it won't say they're feet tall monsters, even if it was true. Oh, did you do that with nail polish? Yes. Miriam. What? I should have made half of them purple, but I did. <laughs> Welcome back! We've acquired a drone! I had Bubbles the I, I had Bubbles name it. Its name is Pebbles. Yes, they 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 did sort of, but not exactly, steal a drone and name it Pebbles, um, because a Rast AI wow, a, was assigned with naming it. That's a yeah. royal they. Yeah, <laughs> it is a royal. Well, so you, I mean, is it a royal they or is it a So Charles, you assume that unaltered humans look like that. He shrugs. I've never seen one. Well, I've I, never seen that either. I think this is absolutely wonderful and lovely and wave generously to the other people who are in that room. And well. Yeah, they, <laughs> they're they still very busy. They Whatever is happening in that room is very important, apparently. Yeah. You get a little bit of an anxious vibe from me because of this information enduring. Uh, you smell like here. As soon I, uh, as you leave, the door closes just, behind you. Just yeah, unknown just anxiousness. Because yeah. yeah. pretty much everything I've known about humans just got turned over because of <laughs> how Charles <laughs> is treating that situation. I give you comforting physical contact. Which is probably a hand pat. <laughs> Sandwich would hate that. <laughs> yeah, I, <know. laughs> I mean, I would hate it from anyone besides Enduring. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you have found the hydroponics bay. Woo! This is where all those plants are coming from, and why there's so many fucking soybeans. Is, is it wet in there? Oh yeah. Sounds wet. It's this, I, this area is. And... Yeah, it's basically a, it's basically a sauna. And there's a robot over yeah. here in a constant state of of nursing these plants. Yes. It's got one of those computers in there. Two of them, in fact. Mm -hmm. You said it's like a sauna? Yeah. I'll note that that means yeah. that there are four that stations ends. in this room. So there are four independent systems that are all monitoring these these plants. Yes. In order to maximize their um, output. 
curiosity passion can uh sense the the whole uh, I'm gonna have to come back here vibe. <laughs> I probably oh, know you, that it's because it's so it's you uh you see me like unholstering my chemical analyzer <laughs> as we're walking by, like doing that double take. <laughs> I just think it would be a nice place to chill. We need our access code, <laughs> our key cards, though. We need yeah, our credentials. True, this is true. Because right now we're just on orientation. Hey. Speaking of that, as I just shove people forward. <laughs> mm -hmm. Agreed. Well, at least we have at least we have a good guide to the uh, the facility. I say, looking pointedly at pointedly at Pebbles. <laughs> What's this next room? Presumably something similar to the room below. Well, the room below was the uh... stasis room, right? Yeah, that's where the stasis things were. Oh, the room above where we just wear the yeah, what? port. Yeah. Stasis. More stasis. Shreya, do these, these ones have people? people? No, these ones do not have people. But Shreya, you notice that something about these is different. Oh. Are they racist stasis? They do look a little bigger than the other one. They are. They, meant for, they are larger. They're meant for. The Charles, what are when, you not telling yeah. me? They, when you they're made for blood, okay. When you see them, you realize that some of the stuff that's in there is like emergency medical modifications, um, and something about that seems weird. Like it's kind of a good idea, right? You would want something like that, and you can't put your finger on it, but something about it doesn't doesn't. You can't put your finger on what's wrong with it. I take notes. Facilitly, yes. Okay. I'm sure you're actually taking notes and not just saying. Uh, oh, you can't just say I take notes and then make the the the, the, yeah, the person running exactly. the game reference it for you later. Exactly. I know he's taking notes. He's the only player I've had in fucking twelve years who takes notes. <laughs> Okay, second floor. Are you gonna go over there and get some more soybeans? Take your yeah. Well, no. the elevator. You're, you're, you're stealing the wrong fucking uh, droid. I, <laughs> I don't have control of the droid, or else I'd be doing it myself. Well, I didn't plan for this. In fact, I think I can do that. I can give you yeah. control of the droid. Um, yeah, you, you can. Are. Oh, it's so nice. There's like four people in here instead of seventy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that drop down menu is so short. Oh, the relief. That's why I don't do that shit, by the way, is because I hate having to deal with that. So you said they're larger than normal and have what in them? Medi emergency That's medical um, uh, equipment, like drone arms and things like that. Which seems like a good idea, but for some reason, that something about that strikes you as, as weird, but you can't put your finger on what it is. Mm. It doesn't look like the uh, emergency droid arms look like they could be hooked up to like biology, does it? They're not. They're not cyber prosthetics. No. Okay. Cool. I mean, Charles, do they look like robotics? Just straight, straight robot arms. Um. Did you mean Gerald? Gerald looks human. Gerald didn't even have like a shirt on. You can see an awful lot of humanity in Gerald. Quite a lot. Eight yeah, feet of it. He's huge. But I'm saying the stuff, the supplies we're finding here doesn't have any tie to enhancing people. I mean, you don't know that enough about that, human biology that, to know what those other, what those chemicals might be used for. You just know that you can use them to build power dynamos in an emergency. Maybe that's how you make humans grow eight feet tall. You don't know. Just to be clear, my player is fully is fully convinced that if you shot up a human with sulfuric acid, it would end badly. Uh, that no. seems logical. <laughs> You've got enough learning to know that that seems to be the most likely outcome. Let me, <laughs> let me do the administering chemicals and you can... 
Charles Tomorrow leaves. Is... Tomorrow <laughs> is... Gerald is very big. Yeah. <laughs> We're I'll... going through here. I'll yeah. circle around with Charles. Probably a good choice. Yeah, go, go the other way. Charles doesn't yeah. like the so... let's experiment on the humans conversation. It's making him uncomfortable. Yeah. You're a human, yeah. right, Charles? No, I thought you hadn't noticed. <laughs> uh, funny. Are you sensitive to the subject because you think you were experimented on? I was experimented on. <laughs> if I wasn't experimented I on, I couldn't that. talk to you. What an intrusive fucking question. <laughs> I mean, I do have voice modulation equipment so we can talk. He rolls his eyes. And I have biological modifications so that I can smell. But can you feel my emotion? He shrugs. <laughs> to some limited extent, but humans couldn't normally. In fact, on our world, we were one of the few creatures of our kind that couldn't. Most other mammals could respond immediately to pheromones the way that you do. We are one of the only ones that couldn't. Almost as though nature made us to be more efficient killers, less ethical. That's always a, a barrier I have to decide not to cross is ethics. He looks over at you. All the more reason to have more of the unaltered humans around, right? He rolls his eyes. Now you suddenly understand why he's so pissed at Traxagor. Like, he's got a personal horse in this race. <laughs> Just to be clear, when uh, when Curiosity Passion said said the whole, uh, that's a line I need to be careful about, the ethics, there was just a wave of snark without any actual words. <laughs> hey, you know exactly, Enduring Appreciation knows exactly why I'm here and that my yeah. previous experiments probably weren't among the most <laughs> ethical towards the hive. That's why we are here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deck three, I assume. Yeah. Bing bong. Do you want yeah, me to put an elevator you. tag for you? <laughs> <laughs> Plunge you into darkness. Nothing but darkness. Yeah, that's revenge. Only darkness. Uh, Okay, why, why am I not... Why... I just learned how to do this. There. Oh no, there's so much darkness. I take all of my, uh, all of my pills. No, don't do that. <laughs> it's not working anymore. Oh, it's because I have the shader on. That wouldn't be useful. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I have to practice. Turns out I'm really bad at this. What? What? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was that was my car alarm. I was locking my door, my car door. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm just interacting with chat, okay? It happens. Sometimes there is chat. Um, there's a little bush I'm in assuming... there that you're standing in, apparently. <laughs> I'm assuming that elevator ride from two to three was extra awkward. Did you not? Uh, by the way, I let you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if you knew yet. Um, that, what is this? That's the bush you were standing in. I was just saying that. It's a big potted bush. I don't. What? It's somebody somewhere was like, oh, this place is just so clinical. We need some kind of life in here. And the only thing there is is a potted bush. Wow. Uh, what these kind of bush? Refrigerators. You don't have to actually answer that, but my character figures out what, what, what type of bush it is. <laughs> anyway, I have popped out the analyzer for you. You guys are fucking fucking around with this bush for 15 minutes. It's Charles, actually a thing. Charles goes over here and grabs some junk food out of the junk food fridge. Hey, gee, Josephat, getting a little, little close and personal what, there. I want to know what this thing right here is. It's this a table with a stack things. of dishes on it. Thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.